With the launch of this year's Portuguese collection, we're introducing three new colors, the Horizon, the Dune, and the Obsidian. And along with these new colors, we also introduce a set of new straps to the Automatic 40 and the Automatic 42. On the Automatic 42, for example, we introduce for the first time a metal link bracelet. On the other watches, we find a good combination between classic alligator straps, emphasizing the elegance of the Portuguese, but also some more contemporary solutions using calf leather with a beautiful finishing done together with the Italian shoe manufacturer and leather accessories manufacturer, Santoni. One of the major steps was really to completely revisit the case construction. Both products received a slimmer case, allowing for more airy, for more lighter appeal on the wrist, and received also domed glass on front and back, which gives a beautiful view on the dial and on the manufacture movement. In reviewing and carefully evolving on the design was actually the work done to the dials. So the graphic work on the dials, especially these very clean, very pure dials that are so much Portuguese on the automatic 40 and the 42, the changes we were able to do there were very little. And we had to find a good balance between exactly this Portuguese cues, like these slim fur-shaped hands, the railroad track chaptering, but still do something to the graphics which adds refinement and purity. The Portuguese Automatic really, with its purity and expression, really perfectly resembles what the Portuguese is about. Especially the Automatic 40 is truly inspired by the original Portuguese from the 1930s, with a three hands layout and a small hacking seconds at six o'clock position on the dial. While the Automatic 42 really became an IWC icon in the years 2000, because it was the first watch featuring the strong caliber 5000 with a seven days power reserve and with this two counter layout, three and nine o'clock, really became an IWC design statement and still is.